Talking with head coach Larissa Anderson after an 8-7 loss to Stony Brook. Coach, both teams got down and made comeback bids. Just talk about the back and forth nature of the game. Stony Brook's a good team. Um, we always have quality, quality games against them. Very impressed. Um, their lefty gave us a hard time and uh, we made we made good adjustments. We did everything we were supposed to offensively. We had great quality at bats. We we had about 500 percent quality at bats. Um, we can't do more than that. We just have to do a better job in the circle and, and give us an opportunity and, and make the big pitch when we can. We need to make it. it. Seemed the home runs really lifted the offense. Kim Smith, her second Grand Slam of the season. You know, just talk about when the power game's on, what that means for the lineup. You know, it's great because at any time we know anyone can hit a home run. Um, and we've been saying that all year, and they, and they believe that. And it's just a matter of you know having having the right pitch to be able to capitalize on that opportunity. And and we did, and we had quality at bats, and we hit the ball hard the entire game. Um, it really just came down to pitching. Seasons hit, hit a bit of a rough patch, but the offense has kept you in games. You ha you've been in every single game. So what do you take for the positives going forward to try and kind of right that ship? The positives are we, we swung the bat very very well, and and something we addressed especially after this weekend. Uh, playing against Delaware that we had a lull. We would we would start off the game great and strong and have quality at bats and then in about the fourth and the fifth inning we, we declined and we lost our focus and then we always play very well in the seventh and uh, the emphasis coming into today's game was to have quality at bats throughout the entire game through seven innings and, and I was very happy with their concentration. They did a great job. You've changed the lineup up a few times this year. Is it producing the results that, that you like? It is and I'm, I'm trying to get, it really it's coming down to Corinne Bailey and She's not producing with runners in scoring position like she's capable of. And I, I moved her down to take a little pr pressure off of her. Um, she's about batting about 430 with nobody on and, and not so high when people are on base. So I wanted to put her down in the lineup. Maybe she gets a little bit better pitch selection, um, take some pressure off of her, and be able to move some batters up that are really seeing the ball well right now. And Kim, Kim Spitz home run right before you see an intentional walk. You don't see that too often in softball. So just talk about uh, to be able to respond like that and really capitalize. You know, it's huge because it puts a lot of pressure on that person that's batting behind the intentional walk. And, and you know, they're, they're intimidating by, you know, pitching around Brittany Alaka and then going at Kim Smith, and she really capitalized in that situation. You have a big conference series coming up this weekend with Drexel coming in. Uh, just what do you want to see out of the team in practice heading into that series? We, we got to make sure that we're doing all the things defensively, um, you know, staying sharp defensively, you know, not making uh, routine plays look tough. Um, we got to continue to swing the bat very well. Uh, be able to do what we're capable of doing, and we got to get our pitching going. Great. Thanks, Coach. You're welcome.